Hey everyone, Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. I have another Divi tutorial that's related to the Divi blog module. And in this one, I'm just going to show you how to remove the link attribute on, on things like uh, the category, um, the meta category. Like when you would click, it would go to that category or go to that author, um, post from that author, things like that. So I'm basically just going to show you how to disable these uh, with CSS. Um, it's pretty quick and easy. I'll just show you that and continue here with our blog series. Of course, we have a ton of tutorials, but a whole lot also in the Divi blog series. So be sure to check them out. Let's get started with this one. All right, so this little solution is when you want to prevent people from going to your archive pages for your author or categories or whatever. Um, one big reason would be like if, if it's and the you as an author, like one author on your site, you don't really need people clicking. And I'll show you here. Like if you had a, a blog module like this and you click on the author by Nelson Miller, it takes you to a default page that's created, you know, automatically like this. Now, obviously this looks terrible and you would want to style this and make this in the theme builder. But my point is like, if it's just one author, why, why send them to a duplicate page? like this you know it doesn't really make any sense so that's the one reason for the author now the title link a lot of times i've hear people uh, especially with our events calendar plugin they're like i want to disable the link to the event page it's like they just want to make a, a listing right not an actual um i don't know they just don't want the user to go to that link for some reason you'd be surprised how many people ask this and so we're just going to remove the link from the title as well and then we'll show you the category so let's just get started we're just going to go ahead and add a custom class i've found that adding a custom class makes things simple that way you're only targeting the blog modules that you want this to happen on you could have multiple blog modules on your site but this will only apply to the ones where you add this class so i'll take this class i'll copy it pa blog no links and I'll just go over here to my, my demo site here, go back to the blog, and then I'm going to edit the page and add the class. Okay, just go to the module settings and to the advanced tab. Open this toggle here and um, go ahead and paste that in there like that. PA blog, no links. So basically the title will take me to the single event page. The author is going to take me to an archive page where it shows all of the blog posts like this here, but it will show them only that are by this author. And the category would take me to a, an archive page where it just shows the blog post in this category. So you could remove all of these or just one of them, depending on your situation. Um, I'll just show you that. So in our tutorial over here, we have the code snippets, of course. You can add them like normal in your child theme, style.css file, or in Divi theme options. Um, and then here's the first one. Remove the Divi blog module title link. So you can go ahead and copy the code there. And then you could put it in your theme options or, like I said, in the, in the child theme. You can, see, you can see the little hand show up, the pointer. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to use my handy little Chrome extension called user CSS. I'm going to paste that here. Now watch when I, when I hover over the link. See, I don't get, I can't click. See, I'm trying to click. I can highlight. I can't click. There's no pointer anymore. That's because I said pointer event none. First I targeted it, PA blog, no links. And then I target that post and the title link pointer events none so we're saying no no do not link all right that's there you go add it to your your theme options custom css box or your child theme and you're good to go um, let's also do the other one all right so if i just want to remove the author grab this one here and before i paste it in i'll just show you i hover down here and i click on this i'll open it in a new tab just to show you it's going to take me to this default page so if I go ahead and add my code, now I try to go down here, I can't click on it anymore. There is no link there anymore because I just said um, targeted it, PA blog, no links, post, post meta, span.author, link. Okay, 
And I said, no, no pointer events for the mouse. So I can't click it. And then the last one, um, this will apply to any of the post meta links actually. Um, it has, it's just post meta A. So if I put this in here, I can't click on any of them. Technically it would apply to if I'd remove the author one too. The last snippet here, the you can see it just says post meta. So any of the post meta here in the gray links would be none. And if you if you were specific and only wanted to target, um, you wanted to leave author on and target just category, you would have to say something like, you would have to use a trick with CSS like nth child and then like three. And it would say only the third meta item and see now I can still click this. So that's just a little trick. Um, nth means it's the third one of that A in the post meta. So the third link within post meta. So one, two, it's not an actual link, but it, yeah, it is, it is, but it isn't. And then this, so that's a little trick if you only wanted the category, but wanted to keep the author. And while I'm here, I might as well mention, you can design these pages in the theme builder. So you don't, it's not like you have to hide them so that people don't see a bad design. Um, I mean, currently, obviously, the, the the design is really bad. Right here, you can see this is like the old default unstyled sidebar and everything. And then this would be, this is post within the, uh, the author. And then this is within the category. So you could just go to the theme builder right here. Go to Divi theme builder. And when you go in here, you'll see, look, all author pages. So, for example, I could come in here and create a template custom body and this would I could now this is going to apply to any of the author pages so I would have to add a blog module otherwise it would not work so I add blog and then the critical step here is to turn on the dynamic content post for current page um, and then I could do anything I want here to do the design I'm going to turn it to a grid um, so anyway, there you go. I just added the layout for the author page. Oh, and then also to make it even more clear, I could add um, text and then use dynamic content and say, I want it to be the post archive title. So it's going to say the, the title of this particular template and it's going to change based on different authors. Now for me, I just have the one author, but if you had different authors, I'll get out of here and save my changes. So like here, now watch when I refresh, it's going to apply that template and it says Nelson Miller. So what you could do is in this template now, just, you know, I'm sort of teaching you a little bonus theme builder tutorial here. If you're still with me, um, go into here into the text module, and add some before text. So like you could say something like, um, these are the blog posts written by, and then add a space. And then that's gonna show up before my name. So my name's dynamic. You know, if it was Joe Smith or whatever, that doesn't matter, it's going to change. But here, watch. These are blog posts written by Nelson Miller. It looks great. I could even add a period at the end. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. It'll always be dynamic. Any other author I click on um, will appear right here and this text will stay here. And the same thing for categories. Just go into the theme builder here. In fact, I could probably, well, I, would, I could duplicate it, right? And then in this, in this here, I could choose the categories. Um, and then, oh my, there's so many options. You could choose a specific author. Like I wanted a, a different template for Nelson, another template for someone else. Yeah, it's crazy. So um, all category pages is what I was looking for. And then I'll change my little text there and say um, something like these, these are the blog posts in the, and then we'll say it'll be the category name and then I could add a space category and I'll just add an exclamation point for fun. So watch what happens now. 
I do this on my site on PA Creative. It'll say these are, are the posts in the whatever category, and it makes it look like you wrote it, even though it's dynamic. Um, right here. So watch what happens here. Oh, I didn't save. Little tip there. Anytime you create a new template, you got to save changes. If I go edit the template, I don't need to click this. But if I make a new one, I need to. So it's kind of a quirk. It's like, what? Okay, here we go. These are the blog posts in the cats and dogs category. So if I had another category, it would just fill in right here. And everything else would be there. So there you go. Kind of a bonus. It's irrelevant to the links, but I mean, it, it kind of is related. Um, but anyway, now, now you know about removing the links and the title, the author, or the category. Okay, there you go. That's how you remove those links. And I hope that you uh, found that useful. And, you know, depending on the situation, probably, like if you were using uh, the tutorial, you know, highlighting the meta over the image or, you know, situations like that um, to me are, are use cases, but I'm sure there's more use cases than that. So I hope you're enjoying our Divi blog module series and all of our other hundreds of tutorials here on our channel. And if you are, you can, you know, give me a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and all that because, you know, that's what you're going to get here. You know, I'm not, I'm not spamming you. I, I'm literally giving you value every single week. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next video.